Welcome to a Quest for Metal. Today we are tackling the Mighty Candlemas. We are ranking them from my least favourite to my favourite. Now they have a lot of albums, a lot of amazing albums, and some which are okay, but mostly, I mean, this is a band with mostly amazing albums. So you could pick, you know, blindfold yourself and just randomly pick an album, and it's generally gonna be fucking amazing. So, that being said, before I get started with my list, pop yours down below. What's your favourite Candlemas album? What's your least favourite? And what Candlemas album do you want to just throw some robes on, go dancing around the stage, singing really high? Let me know down below, and let's get started. So first up, in last place, is Dactylis Glamurta, which I probably butchered. Um, so there's two albums with this singer on, and I've got to say, this is the weakest. Um, this is easily the weakest. There's two albums where I'm kind of like, uh, not really big fan, don't really want to re-listen to them too much, and this is one of them. The main reason being that the production is fucking shit. It's awful production on this one. I know they're going for a kind of sound with it, this kind of stoner doomy kind of sound, but it just doesn't work with Candlemas. We want epic doom, we want the amazing production, because the albums before this had stellar production. This one sounds fucking shit the main complaint. The other is that the singing just isn't as good compared to Rob Lowe or Messiah or Johan. Like it doesn't doesn't match those levels. So Dactylis is easily going to be last and that means you know the next one, the other one is going to be 13th Sun. So the, from the 13th Sun is the next one which is by Bjorn again, uh, the singer on both these albums. Um, I, yeah, I enjoy this a bit more. This one has a lot better production, I do think, on this one than Ductilis, so I can enjoy this one more, but it's still not quite as epic or memorable as any of the other albums. I much prefer all the other albums to the, to these two, um, if I'm being honest. Like, Dactylis kind of sounded like a bad imitation of Candlemas. This sounds like more of its own thing, its own identity, and they were going to make a different band with a different name for these, but it ended up having the Candlemas um, title on, which is probably why it just doesn't work. Same reason as in Black Sabbath, like Seventh Star doesn't really work for me, because um, it's not really a Black Sabbath album. Um, same with Born Again, it doesn't really sound like a Black Sabbath album, but the same can be said for these two Candlemas albums. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just kind of fucking meh. So these are the only two ones I'm going to complain about. All the others, you don't know how fucking hard it is to rank. They are ridiculous to rank. So I guess let's get to some juicy ones. So this is, pains me to put it here, but this is the Door to Doom, the latest one. Johan is back. I, d I hope I'm saying his name right. It could be Johan, I don't, I don't know. Um, but he's back from the very first album. And I love that the album cover basically goes full circle and it looks exactly like Epicus Dumicus Metallicus. Has that similar vibe and this is like a more modern version, I guess. I do enjoy this album quite a lot. It's very new and fresh in my memory, so it's not had the lasting impact of some of the other albums. I do love that Tony Iommi's on it, on Astolus the Great Octopus, sorry, Astorolus, which is really hard to say. I love the riffs in that one, so good. This is a very solid album all throughout. Love all these songs on here, but it's lacking a spark. It's lacking like a a very you know, epic songs like some of the others. Because I could pick out loads of songs on a lot of the other albums where I'm like, yeah, this one's just very good throughout the entire album. I listen to it again and again, and it's just a very mellow, very chill, just very fun album. It's not quite as heavy as the Candlemas self-titles, not quite as epic as Nightfall, not quite as memorable as Epicus Doomicus Metallicus. It's just a very good Doom album. I'm glad that this vocalist is back, but I gotta be honest, you know, Rob Lowe, he fucking nailed it with his album, so they're going high, I mean, I love them, so yeah, let's, let's carry on with the list, I guess. So yeah, speaking of Rob Lowe, Death Magic Doom is here, some people have this high in the top three, I can totally see why this is a killer album. For me, it's the weakest of the Rob Lowe era, and that's not saying much, because this album still fucking slaps. Hammer of Doom is amazing. I love Hammer of Doom and the Bleeding Baroness is such an epic as well. With that, the Bleeding Baroness is probably my favourite on this album. With that kind of like heavy metal-esque atmosphere, it's like the Bleeding Baroness, ding, 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 ding. Just sounds like something like Iron Maiden or someone would play. That's maybe why I like the Rob Lowe albums, because they have that kind of new wave of British heavy metal flair to them. 
kind of power metal as well, so I adore this album, but in the context of all the other albums, it's coming here, but even though it's this low, I still adore it, so don't put it off. Go listen to this, because a lot of people have it higher. For me, it's coming a bit lower on the list, and the album art's kind of shit. That's the only thing I could say. The art's kind of shit. That's it. The album's actually fantastic, so yeah, give it some love. Next up is chapter six, an album I didn't think I was going to like with a different vocalist as well. This is Thomas Wickstrom on this one, his only album, and my God, is it amazing. I didn't think I was gonna like it, because I listened to the Rob Lowe ones first, which is weird, so I loved them. Li then listened to, obviously, Johan and Messiah, and I loved them, so I was like, what the fuck? Another vocalist? This is getting silly now, but I tell you what, this album fucking slays. It does, I know it's another vocalist, but it's still amazing, it's very, atmospheric this album. I know all music gave it a 2 out of 5. Fuck off. This is way better than a 2 out of 5. This is like a 4.5 out of 5. The Candlemas don't do 2 out of 5s. Well, aside from two albums, but yeah, I, I don't know why this is rated low. Is it because they changed vocalists? Because fuck them. The vocalist on here is fucking amazing. The range he has, Thomas Vickstrom is amazing. I gotta listen to whatever he's been on since this. Because we know Rob Lowe was on Solitude Eternus. Oh. And he has another band out recently, which released an album this year, which I've got, and I've forgotten the name of it. Um, let me try and find it for you, actually. It'll be on my um, library, so bear with me, like, just one second while I fight. Fuck off. <clears throat> Grief Collector. He's in Grief Collector, and that's a great Doom album. So, yeah, I love him, but yeah, Thomas Vickstrom's vocals are some of the best in the goddamn game. The Dying Illusion and the Temple of the Dead alone make this album way more than a 2 out of 5, so fuck all music. This is a stellar album. Here it comes, Candlemas, the self-titled. Messiah is back in the band after the epic run of albums he had, and this is heavy as shit. This is heavy as shit. The heaviest Candlemas album, the most intense, most just furious, some of these songs kick major ass they kick major major ass my only complaint with this one is that it's a bit long i know i don't usually complain about that on albums but this one does feel a bit long i don't know why it just just does maybe lose one song and then it'll be perfect so at the moment it's out of 4.5 out of 5 but some of these songs man witches holy fucking shit with that riff where it's like doom 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 Oh, on his vocals. This was on Brutal Legend, probably the first Candlemas song I heard because I played it, Brutal Legend, and this was on it. So I adore this goddamn song, and I adore a lot of the other songs in this album as well. Black Dwarf especially, which is so just furious. It's like, Black Dwarf! Too intense. This album's furious. It's fun. It funnels your balls, and that's what you want. Candlemas, self-titled. It's bloody good. Next up for some spooky skeletons, King of the Grey Islands. Rob Lowe album again, and this one is so just dreary and epic. There's a lot of epic songs on this one, and they all goddamn hit just too goddamn hard. Emperor of the Void especially, with that intro, it's like bow, wow, wow, wow. I love the, the wah-wahs on this song. It just give it an extra layer um devil seeds fun and funky it's not my favorite on the album but it's a fun song Demolia six and embracing the sticks though oh masterpieces bloody masterpieces this album is fantastic and if you had this higher it's i would i would shake your hand and then we'd go in a little witch's dance i, I love it yeah I, I love this album i love all the rob Lowe albums to be honest it's really hard to rank them for me this one is coming a bit higher thing uh, Death Magic Doom, just because some of the songs, like the, like the ones I mentioned, stick with me more. So, it's going higher. So that comes to my next one, which is Psalms of the Dead. Psalms for the dead. Psalms for the living. This is my first Candlemas album. Yeah, I know. This was my first one, which is why it's so good and high. A lot of people have this low down. Well, screw you, this is the catchiest Candlemas album. All these songs are fucking amazing. The sound of dying demons. Wow, 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 wow. That fucking song brings a smile to my face every single time. Um, I love the catchiness of the songs on this album. Like the dance of the Mad Queen Bee. I'm very tempted to put this higher. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put this one. No, because people go mad. People go mad. Fuck people. 
Yeah, all right, this is this is my next pick. This is going higher. So, what's going to be lower? <laughs> Tales of Creation. Tales of Creation is lower. I'll tell you the reason why. I will tell you the reason why. Um, the fact that there's a song from Epicus Dumicus Metallicus on here, and it's kind of like demo songs that they kind of brought onto this album... It does flow very nicely, the album, and it's Messiah singing, so it's an epic album. It's a great story. Why have they got a fucking remaster song on? I don't I don't like that. Um, and the speaking sections between songs is okay, but I'm not the biggest fan of that either. So the fact that I can nitpick stuff from Tales of Creation, I'm going to put Psalms of the Dead higher. Fuck it. Get me some shit from the hardcore fans, but I don't care. I love both these albums. I love both of them, but I just got into them through that. So Psalms is going a bit higher. Tales of Creation is here. Oh, what can I say? I, I I still love this album to pieces. Messiah's vocals are amazing. But this is the weakest of the Messiah trilogy. Or quadrilogy, I should say. No, wait, because... Yeah, of the classic Messiah trilogy, this is the weakest, in my opinion. Amazing art, though. Love the art. But this is just a very standard, great, Candomass album, I just think that Nightfall, Epicus, and Ancient Dreams and stuff were just uh, more classic. So yeah, that's going here. So then my next one is obviously Psalms of the Dead. Rob Lowe, love his vocals. He's probably my favourite vocalist, I think. Uh, even though some of the albums with Messiah and Johan are higher, I love his vocals, man. It's more power metal more Maiden-esque. So yeah, Psalms of the Dead is here. So... That fuck up away. Let's move on to the next one. So my top three now. This is where people get angry. Nightfall is my number three. Oh, I know. I know. Nightfall. Wrong band, Questy. Nightfall is an amazing album. Come on. It has Bewitched on. You are bewitched. Dun, 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 dun. It starts dancing in the video. Oh, come on. That's the best can of my song ever. And it's not just that. There's so many good songs in this album. At Gallows End, what a staple live. Amazing and well of souls. Every song on Nightfall is a 10 out of 10 classic. This is a 10 out of 10 album. I adore it to pieces. Messiah's vocals are amazing. I just think he's better on another album, which some people are not too big into, but that's fair enough. I put Tales of Creation kind of low. So yeah, Nightfall. Bloody amazing album, classic for a reason. Everyone loves it. Everyone should love it because it's amazing. Coming here at my number three. So that means my number two is Ancient Dreams. I mean, starting off with Mirror Mirror. Mirror Mirror on the wall. How good is that opening song? That's one of my favorite Canama songs as well. Of course, the bells of Icaron. The bells of Icaron is a masterpiece of a song. And of course, one of my favorites again, Darkness in Paradise. Darkness in Paradise. Oh, come on. Amazing from start to finish. These songs are longer. Maybe that's why I like this album more. Um, I love the long songs in this album. Um, some people might think it's a bit boring compared to some of the others. Nah, 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 nah. It's epic. No pun intended. I adore the artwork, the songs, they're underrated. It's an underrated as hell album. It's one of my favourites. It almost beat my number one, but nothing will. So Ancient Dreams is amazing, but my number one is the one that started it fucking all. Epicus, Dumicus, Metallicus. It's been my favourite for a while. Always my favourite. Nothing's going to fucking beat it. I almost thought Ancient Dreams was going to beat it, but come on. Come on. Please let me die in solitude. Probably the greatest doom metal song ever fucking made. I love me some depressive, depressive shit. And this is, this is super depressive. I adore that song. And also, the Demon's Gate. Come on. That's a fucking masterpiece. And Crystal Ball. And Under the Oak, which was on Tales of Creation, but it's better on this one. So that's why I'm kind of stolty with that album. It's better on here. Yeah, I fucking adore this album. I know Daughter of Doom was like low down, and this is the same vocalist, but this is this created epic doom metal. It's literally called epic doom metal. Every song's a banger. Every song's worth your time. It's amazing from start to finish. It's a classic for a reason. I adore it, and that's why it's my number one, and it always will be. Epicus, Doomicus, Metallicus. 
So, that was my crazy ranking for Candle Mouse. Did you agree? You probably didn't. You probably don't want to put Songs of the Dead that high. But, it was, but come on, it was one of my first ones. So give me some, give me some slack. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought down below. What's your favourite Candlemas album? What's your least favourite? And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.